Hi everyone, um, another little detail about sword drawing. So, as most of you will know, whether you've done Yaido or Japanese martial arts, or whether you've just watched videos or you've watched Seven Samurai, you will notice the katana is usually worn uh, in the sash with the edge up. And lots of, uh, lots of people who like to talk about katanas make a big thing of this, the fact that uh, it's worn edge up um, and, uh, and drawn, drawn from, from this position. Sorry, I can't draw very well, but as you know, I have a broken finger. Um, and really all I want to say is that there's an interesting parallel that I found in British um, military sabre from the 19th century. Ta-da! Here's a military sabre from the 19th century, dating to about uh, 1850, this one. Um, and um, what's interesting is although the sword is suspended by these two uh, rings uh, and it hangs via leather slings that go up on a belt. I do actually have one but um, because of how the camera's set up it would be too low down for you to see I think. Um, but an interesting detail is that um, one of the very first um, orders that was often given on drawing swords was to actually rotate the sword so it's uh, guard up and therefore edge up and actually the sword is drawn from there. The main, the main reason for doing that was actually to preserve the sharpness of the edge because it would mean you'd be drawing against the back of the blade and not dragging the edge along the inside of your metal scabbard. Even though many of these scabbards were wooden lined, you still have a metal throat there. And incidentally that metal throat, um, certainly after about 1840, was very often made of either brass or what was known as, um, as German silver, which is pewter essentially. Okay, so um, so it's softer than the blade, so you're not going to you're not going to dull the blade that much. But it's interesting, that nevertheless, that they turned the sword over and then drew it out from there, either straight up or forwards. Okay, um, so there we go. Um, the edge upwards and drawing the sword from there was also in 19th century British sabre use, not just the katana. Thank you.